These are my top 10 and my top 10 favorite restaurants in Venice. And we're gonna see how these lists compare. We made them completely separately without talking to each other. So the ones that are like in common, you're gonna know are legit. If you are from Venice or have been to Venice, make sure to leave us in the comments your favorite restaurants. So you can go first. What's your number one? My number one, and we actually just ate there today, this morning, is Sun Coast Cafe. Both, well, we haven't really had it. Every time we go there, we end up getting their breakfast, but the lunch yeah. would, looks like it'd be really good, but the breakfast is so good. And, and there's some unique twists on, you know, there's like some Caribbean infusion yeah. into some of it, some of it's standard American. Yeah, but. the chef, it's actually from St. Lucia, a small island on the Caribbean. So it's, it's very tropical. Cool. Not yeah, there's like, a lot of reggae music playing. Yeah. We sat by the counter this morning, it was fun. Yes. And they had uh, the music jamming and you could see them cooking everything. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. It's a really small place, so if you do go, you're going to have to wait, but it, it is worth the wait. And it's a cool atmosphere <laughs> because it kind of has like a hole in the wall type vibe, but at the same time, it's connected to the airport. So right behind it is like the runway with all the small pond hopper planes yeah. and a few jets. So yeah, really cool for atmosphere and vibe too. It's, it's just really, really good food and is actually on my list too so that's okay. also one of my picks so the second one on my list is going to be well in no particular order yes. i just kind of slapped them together but i'm gonna go with gold rush barbecue i love that place there's a lot of really good southern style and barbecue style and smoked meat style places in venice daryl's is another notable one but i think gold rush is gonna take the nod for me as my favorite yeah. Not on my list, oh. but it is good. <laughs> yeah, really, I really, really like, they have like, a, it's called, a, I think it's like the chili mac and cheese burrito, but it's not really like chili mac and cheese. It's more like some pulled pork, I think, in it and macaroni and cheese, really good macaroni and cheese. They melt yes. it. And, and then there's cheese on top with diced tomatoes, and it's amazing. Yeah, they're mac and cheese and cornbread. Yeah, both Delicious. are really good. Yeah. And that was what won the tiebreaker for them between like them and Daryl's for me. I, I like some of their unique entrees a little more than Daryl's, and I think their sides are a little mm -hmm. bit better. And when you go to a southern place, it, I mean, you got to get them sides, the cornbread yes. and all that stuff. But such good food there. I love it. And That's the reason why I like southern food, not so much for the barbecue and the meats and all that stuff. It's more the sides. Yeah. <laughs> My second one is Cut the France, and I know that's gonna be on your list. We love going there. Our... More for the breakfast food. Yeah. We had lunch. Madame Monsieur is really good. And Croque Madame. And Croque Madame, yeah. Basically, yeah. the only difference is one has the egg and the other one doesn't. Yeah. On top. Such good food. And the atmosphere is cool, too, because yes. you feel like you're in France in a little French restaurant. Mm -hmm. So the vibe is really and cool. And the owner's actually from France. Yeah. And there's, uh, it's cool because there's like, a really small stairway to a really small balcony upstairs too that you can sit in. It's just a cool vibe overall, but the food is really, really Delicious. good. We love French food. If you've never had it, we highly recommend it, especially the breakfast food. And that one was also on my list, of course. <laughs> So two, two of hers were on my list. My first one was not on hers. So my next one, I'm gonna go with one that anytime you come to Venice, someone's gonna tell you that you have to go here and it's Sharky's. It's on my list too. <laughs> yeah, so Sharky's, one, the food is great. I don't know if I'd say, you know, it's necessarily top 10 in Venice as far as the food. It's yeah. probably top 15 or 20 though, I'd give it that. But the vibes, yeah. you got the pier there, you got the tiki hut, the tropical drinks. Uh, they're, what is the bread pudding they have? It's like a tropical style mango. bread pudding. That might be like mango or something. Yeah. That's really good. All the food is really, really good. And then um, the, the vibe. For me, Sharky's, I have it on my list for the vibes and the drinks. Not so much for the food unless you're getting seafood. The seafood, it's better than just like the land from the land menu, but it's not my favorite i'm more i'm i gonna disagree a little on that i because I, I don't eat seafood i don't like fish or anything out of the water period like shrimp none of that stuff and i actually like their overall regular menu per, uh, quite a bit again not top 10 mm -hmm. but top 15 or 20 i would say for me. i would say number one for the vibes and location okay. and everything but not for the food and there's a slight tropical twist to some of the stuff on the yeah, menu too which, so, that's cool. which i like i don't know I, I, I would... oh and the sides are really good too yeah my next one is plaza mexico it's really good food. It's a little more on the expensive side, but the, the size of the portions are huge. <laughs> yeah, the f so we've been there once and our, yeah, it immediately, it's also on my it's, list. It yeah. immediately went into my top 10. We've been to some other Mexican places in the area and a lot of them were really good, but mm -hmm. like, yeah, when we sat down, I'm like, man, it's a little more pricey. Like, I don't know, we just kind of wanted, you know, Mexican that, you know, yeah. a lot of times it's not super expensive. So I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. And then when the food came out, 
huge it makes sense why it's so expensive <laughs> beautiful presentation lots of different kind of things combined like sauces and some mm -hmm. stuff with a unique twist or maybe just that you haven't had before and, and their menu is huge like there yeah. is a lot on that menu and they make fresh guac yeah i mean what more do you need but yeah the, i think i got a burrito and what did you get i got a burrito also. yeah and just the presentation on them the taste like everything immaculate so good can't wait to go back honestly <laughs> my next one and this one is an interesting one is pilar's empanadas right in downtown venice I just love those things, especially get the bacon and plum one. It sounds like a weird combination, but the bacon and plum just pairs extremely well. And then the bread of the empanadas is just so good. Oh my gosh, I love that place. Every time not I on see my it, list. it's not on your list, but no. it should it have been? I'm sorry, Pilar. Huh? Should it have been on your list? No. <sighs> I don't, I, I don't know. It doesn't really blow me away like it does you, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty amazing. So I guess we'll move on to the next one, but it's a, it's a small place on Miami Avenue in downtown Venice, kind of towards Tamiami sort of, but not by all the crazy traffic of Tamiami. I have another Mexican restaurant on my list Ooh. and that is Mi Pueblo. Which Great one is that? food that the one of Alpha 41 with all the like Christmas lights that in during Christmas. Oh, and it's kind of got the plaza yeah. there. Okay, yep, I remember that one. It's yeah, it's yeah. Good. Their food is really good. I don't remember it enough, so that's why I wouldn't put it on my top ten. <laughs> Maybe we have to go back. Could be. <laughs> and the location, it's great. I mean, you're off of a really busy road, but it's just like a little plaza, so it's really cute. And the inside was really nice too. Yeah. I, will, I will say that, like vibes and all that wise, yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. Probably even a little bit better than Plaza, plaza Mexico. Yeah. But I, I don't, I don't really remember the food, so mm -hmm. I would give Plaza Mexico Both of the them are really good, yeah. Okay. Next one for me is <laughs> going to be, oh, and a local chain, small chain. There's only two of this restaurant, and then they have a couple other ones, Brew Burgers. So they have two different Brew Burgers locations. I've only been to the one on the island. And then they also chuck and ale and Bruza Bagels. But are they those own. all but, your... But I'm not putting them all okay. in there. I'm just saying Brew Burgers itself. But it's just kind of cool. That's kind of a local yeah. chain of franchises. But yeah, Brew Burgers I love. They have some unique burgers. Sweet potato fries with the marshmallow dipping sauce. You can't get that many places. That alone puts it on the list. But then they have another burger called the Widowmaker that's got like... By ham, the way, this bacon. video is not sponsored by any of yeah, the restaurants. It's got ham, I think bacon, I want to say egg and chili. And like, it's just like, it's called the Widowmaker for a reason. Like there's a ton of meat on it. And then they got one that's like a grilled cheeseburger. It's like two grilled cheeses and then the burgers in the mid. Like the menu is incredible. If you're a burger person, but you want some, you, they got your standard stuff. But if you want some stuff with a twist too, that's great. And then uh, you could tell I'm going crazy here. Beer cheese. Oh, yeah. Any place that has beer cheese on the menu is A-OK -okay in my book. They're at least going to be in consideration for top 10. <laughs> and they have that plus the marshmallow sauce for the I will sweet say potato I don't fries. like their beer cheese as much. It's um, not the best I've had, but it's really yeah. good. It is very good. Yeah. So that's not on my list, but Bruza Bagels is. Oh. So, which they're owned by the same company. The I would reason, put them into consideration. Yeah, the reason why it. I like them is because basically you get like pizza flavored bagels. Or bagels that are pizza, basically. Or, yeah. Yeah. So it's a bagel and it's like all the pizza toppings and it, like it's really good. It's a really small restaurant, but it's it's delicious. And they got some unique ones. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know mm -hmm. they had some that were like not your typical style pizza or typical ingredients on yeah. the bagel. And I think they had breakfast sandwiches too. And they're too. New York style bagels too. Yeah. So yeah, it was really really good. Actually, now that you say it, I yeah. I might I might kick one of them off the list to put that one on honestly <laughs> yeah but for now I'm just gonna leave my list so you guys can get some different variety here so my next one is going to be Joey D's and I get you gotta say it that way I love their Chicago style pizza my favorite outside of maybe I can never remember the name of it because it with a G in Chicago I like their Giovanni's. yeah Giovanni's. sure what she said <laughs> it, their crust I love because it's almost like pie crust. Outside of that, everything else, like the cheese and the sauce, it almost, it's very natural type sauce. It doesn't feel like came out of a can. There's like chunks of tomatoes in it. And it almost feels like healthy Chicago style pizza, 
but at the same time delicious. I don't know, it's just so good and I can eat it all day, every day. I can have leftovers and it tastes just as good. It's pretty much about that with Joey D's. The rest of the menu, like we tried their pasta and it was good, Yeah. but really that Chicago style pizza is where, it, where it's at. And yeah, I wouldn't it get- a, It is a chain, it's yeah. not local, but it's just, you know, so I guess we're not being super exclusive here, but. I, yeah, I wouldn't get food from Joey D's. I would get the pizza though, because the, the pizza is really good. Unfortunately, it didn't make my list, but. What's going on here? <laughs> I have TJ Cartney's. They're really good. They're really, really good. And you're like right on downtown Venice, uh, Venice Avenue. And you can sit inside or outside. The time we were there, it was really, really good. Service was great. Um, so I would totally recommend if you're if you're in the area. Great location. And I want to say they're one of the places in the downtown that a lot of times love live music, right? Towards the front or the back or the side. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure TJ Carney says live music quite often. But yeah, great vibes mm -hmm. being in the downtown and all that. And the food was really great. Yes. Didn't make my top 10 but I have no qualms with it making yours. My next one is going to be Tika Indian Cuisine. They were actually voted, I think, the number two restaurant this last year, I think by TripAdvisor in all of Florida. Really good Indian food. It, first of all, if you've ever, never had Indian, you need to try it. I have yet to have Indian that I didn't like, especially if you get like the butter or tiki masala chicken, the naan, which is like the bread, bread that comes in a stone-fired oven. It's, yeah. Really, really good stuff. The jasmine rice. The jasmine, that's our dog's name, jasmine. <laughs> but yeah, really yeah. good food. It uh, made my top 10 That's as on well. your top 10 mm -hmm. as well. So there you go. Really good food. You need to try Indian if you haven't had it. And again, they're number two in all the state. So that should tell you something. And they're yes. one of the few Indian places, I think maybe the only yeah. one in all of Venice. So yeah. it's good that we, the one that we got, we did right. My next one is Bayoki Thai Bistro. We've had a few different Thai restaurants in the area and I will say Bayoki is my favorite. I love their curry and... Can't go wrong with their, Thai curry. Yeah. Um, their sushi is really good as well. Especially, yeah, their Thai curry is amazing. I don't do sushi, but yeah, their Thai curry is good. I don't know if we've had their pad Thai. Really we, should, oh yeah. we need to make a point to try that yeah. because pad Thai is really good too. If you're not into curry, it's a good alternative. But yeah, I, it's like, if I'm gonna get Thai, I'm like, I'm gonna get the curry because it's so creamy mm -hmm. and just delicious. It's just this unique combination of flavors that you really can't get any other way. Uh, I think the only thing that's somewhat comparable is some certain Indian dishes have sort of that, you know, creaminess yeah. to them too with that curry flavor, but it's different. But yeah, I don't, I don't think I had them on my top. No, no, they're not on my top 10. Didn't quite make the cut. Uh, yeah, I'm not, again, no qualms with that. I'm not going to debate you on it. I, I really don't have a problem with it. Why don't you debate me on me? It's my list. Well, I know. I'm just saying like, because if, if we don't have it on each other's <laughs> list, like, you know, like, yeah. like we got to try to convince each other a little maybe. I don't know. All right. So my next one is... And you, this is probably gonna surprise you. Made in Italy. Really? One of our first times eating out in Venice was made in Italy. We got pizza, sat outside. It was amazing. So there's some memories associated with that. But the food is really, really good from what we've had. Mm -hmm. Haven't had it a lot. So I can't give a ton of review here on the menu, I guess. But the one other thing that we got there that I just thought was so good, <laughs> and you already know what I'm gonna say, was yeah. that smoked old fashioned. It's like drinking a campfire, which sounds weird and gross, but it's actually really dish and delicious. It, it's pretty cool too how they make it yeah. and the presentation and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and like Venice has a ton of Italian places, so I feel like we had to put at least one on the list. Yeah. So that's part of why I put it on two, and I know a lot of people love Italian. We don't do it as much just because all the gluten tends to bother our stomachs, but if I'm gonna you know, have a cheat meal and, and feel kind of not so hot the next day. And they do have a couple gluten-free options yeah. too, so. But yeah, if I were gonna pick a place to do that and not feel good, I, they would be the one, I think. Hashtag worth it. Hashtag worth it. <laughs> Made in Italy didn't make my list, but I did consider putting it on the list, but it's like, it's one of those restaurants that everyone tells you to go to when you're in the area. So it's like, I didn't wanna put it on my list because of that, but it is really good. And yeah, I, I would agree, like if I wanna, not feel so good, I would go to Made in Italy because it would be worth it. Right, I would choose their Italian <laughs> over Joey D's Italian. Oh yeah. And pizza might be a close race, yeah. but I'd still give the nod to Joey D's. I just, Chicago style pizza is where it's at in my book. My next one is Abby's on Miami. Good food. This is, yeah, it's more like American food, but it's it's delicious. It's um, got some good drinks too. Got some good drinks, yes. And salads are really good too. And probably some of the best fries I've ever had, French yeah. fries. Yes, and service is always really great as well. And good location, being on Miami, being in the downtown. Didn't make my top 10 list. Mm -hmm. Again, don't have an issue with it. I just didn't feel like they quite stood out enough with the menu overall. Yeah. But those French fries are really, really, really I, good. 
bit more basic, like a basic American menu, but it does have a little bit of a twist on some things. So if you're not like too crazy on trying different foods, yeah, Abby's is yeah. the way to go. And it, yeah, it's a good go-to for like, everyone can find something on the mm -hmm. menu that they like if you're not really sure where to go. That's a good go-to for us when people are in town. Yeah. Uh, by the way, she is a realtor and a lot of times we'll have lunch with people. And yeah. if you are looking to buy or sell a home in the area, make sure to call, text, or email us. My information will be in the description box below. Phone number is 941-221-1897. Call or text anytime. Whether you're looking to move now or in the next few months, we'll always have your back. Hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications, and live breezy. breezy.